One of the major issues for me in terms of the future development programme are questions to do with technical capacity and the involvement of countries in different international trade negotiations. First of all, we would like to see something on health. Uh, and when it is about health, we would rather, instead of single diseases or single health problems, see something more wider. Uh, health and education should be the priority on the post-2015 agenda. These are uh, the essential elements of, uh, of human development, and human development is the foundation of uh, economic development. Poverty eradication and ensuring that these uh, uh, global health issues are also part of the uh, initiatives and, uh, and uh, ending extreme poverty is critical. Investing in education and investing in educators we believe is one of the most uh, powerful tools for development around the globe. Second, uh, on the technology area, how technology can, can empower people, one of the key areas is connectivity. How the whole revolution of cloud, social, mobile and big data can transform and bring new opportunities for education, for employment and uh, 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 ultimately for youth. Continuing investment um, for young people in sexual and reproductive health in the post-2015 development agenda is really very necessary. The priority should be uh, more focused about uh, green industry. Of course elimination of poverty, of course better health and education, but if we don't clack, crack climate change and if we don't make sure that we have sustainable development goals which are consistent with the attempts to tackle climate change, then the rise in temperatures, the rise in sea level, the acidification of the oceans, the increase in the frequency of storms will completely undermine anything that we try to do on the poverty side. So we must have integrated goals, we must negotiate them together, we must finance them together and then most important of all we must deliver them together as soon as 2015 comes. Climate change should be on a top agenda and linking that with carbon projects. WWF is very convinced that we need for many developing countries and for poor people in particular a rights-based approach. Inequality is the major global risk of the 21st century. You see it in Europe, you see it in the world. If you don't tackle the inequality issue we will lose social cohesion, we will have conflicts and you already saw it in the Arab Spring, it was all about dignity, about social inclusion, so inequality, inequality, inequality. It's important that we have objectives that are fit for the new world we live in. It's not a global south that is rich and a, glo a global south, global north rich against poor. You've got very rich people all over the place and very poor people all over the place. So it's very important that you've got the fight against poverty happening everywhere. Well, I believe that without security, actually full security, in terms of health, water, uh, education, you cannot actually have anything in terms of the agenda for 2015. My main preoccupation with the post-2015 framework is that we need to get an agreement between the EU, the Chinese and the Indians and the Brazilians on how we're going to sort this framework out and without that we won't go anywhere. For post-2015 agenda, um, the priority is to have everybody on board. This is the very much priority, the higher one. If not everybody is on board, we will miss the points, we will not have the development we want.